Whoa, it smells like a college dorm room in here, Triangle Bob. Did you eat all of those bags of Radical Ranch Triangle Chip? And who the heck is this? I've never seen this character on the show before at all. Oh, you're watching our Sleeping While High video. You know, I've been meaning to make a sequel to that video. Triangle Bob, uh, whatever your name is, let's do this. Cue the intro. Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. In 2019, which seems like 6,000 years ago, I talked about the effects of cannabis on sleep, and if it can actually be used as a sleep aid. At the time, there were a very limited number of studies on this topic, largely due to its illegal status here in the US, as well as mixed results among the studies that do exist because of the variability of the plant itself. But it's been a few years, and as states have continued to decriminalize it, and studies have demonstrated it has less of a health risk than originally thought, scientists have begun to shed some more light on what happens when you go to sleep high. So I wanted to make an update video. Cannabis, or marijuana, is the most commonly used federally illegal drug in the US, and about 70% of young adults that use it casually do so to help them sleep. Like this guy over here, who still needs a name. While the jury is still out on whether or not it can be used as a sleep aid, research has shown that it does have an effect on sleep. One of the main components of cannabis are chemicals called cannabinoids. The ones that get the most attention are tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, which is the psychoactive component that gives the high, and cannabidiol, or CBD. These cannabinoids each affect the body in a different way, and while there haven't been many controlled studies on how they directly affect sleep, either alone or in combination, their impact on other conditions could be playing an indirect role on improving sleep. For instance, people who use CBD to manage anxiety or pain often report that they also sleep better. The same goes for THC. There is a man-made version called Nabilone, and it's an approved medication for the treatment of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. But in an off-label clinical trial, where Nabilone was used to treat PTSD-related nightmares, participants reported improved sleep time and quality of sleep. That is because THC seems to alter the time spent in the different sleep stages. More specifically, it reduces the amount of time spent in REM sleep, where most of our dreaming occurs. For those in the study taking Nabilone, 72% had these nightmares either stop completely or greatly reduce their intensity, resulting in better sleep. And that's huge for these people. There should be more studies on this. These are only two of the many chemicals in cannabis. Clearly, this plant has a lot of potential, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to seeing what else it's capable of. So, do you use marijuana to go to sleep? Does it have any other positive effects you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comment section below. And also tell me, what should I name this guy? He's refusing to leave, I, I think he lives here now? Click here to watch this video on magic mushrooms, or click here to watch this video. Make sure you click subscribe because we're trying to get to 4 million subscribers, and hit the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Oh, and don't forget to click like, because it really helps us out. You're the best. You can also check out the team at Lifespan that powers Life Noggin down in the description.